Hello. Welcome to our second Time for Hope this week. Uh, we've had a lot of videos over the last couple of weeks and at the start of the Time for Hope uh, messages that we were doing, we did have some audios as well, which I think that's really good because sometimes we can get so hung up on what we're seeing, we're not actually listening. And some of the audios help us to really listen to what's being said. So today it's a couple of minutes and it's an audio for you. So I want to encourage you, why don't you listen to it while you could close your eyes so you don't get distracted by anything. Or why don't you like sit in your back garden or go outside and listen to it outside. See the world around us that God has made. So you're looking at his creation whilst getting hope from him as well. And again, like I said last time, make space afterwards. Make space to dig into God and seek him because it's his hope. And he's the one that provides it. So I really hope you enjoy today's Time for Hope. Hello, everyone. Miss you all. I love this Bible verse from Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And it takes me to the following list of hopes that a dear friend passed to me quite a few years ago, which has really helped me over the past year, especially when living on my own has been a real challenge. Hope shines brightest when the hour is darkest. Hope motivates when discouragement comes. Hope energises when the body is tired. Hope sweetens while bitterness bites. Hope sings when all melodies are gone. Hope believes when evidence is eliminated. Hope listens for answers when no one is talking. Hope climbs over obstacles when no one is helping. Hope endures hardship when no one is caring. Hope smiles confidently when no one is laughing. Hope reaches for answers when no one is asking. Hope presses towards victory when no one is encouraging. Hope dares to give when no one is sharing. Hope brings a victory when no one is winning. Hope is so important. And I know that uh, when I watched the Remembrance Service last November and our Prime Minister Boris Johnson related a story from the end of the First World War, a man was stood over the grave of the unknown soldier and feeling utterly defeated and sad, another man came over to him and said, courage, brother, hope on. This really spoke to me and helped me to remember. Courage, brother, courage, sister, hope on. Thank you and bless you all at Riverside. Let's continue to hope on and eventually we will be restored to one another. Bye for now.